Hello and welcome to YouTube video of this 2002 Winnebago Ultimate Advantage Model 40E as an elephant. We're going to show you today good, bad and ugly. It is a 2002 anyhow you cut it. The math is right. It's 16 years old. About to be 17 years old. A uh, little bit of scrub, right, scrub mark right here. By the way, 2016 date code Kelly tires. Uh, date codes are 44 of 16. That means Almost uh, right around Christmas 16, they were produced by Kelly and they could have been installed in 17. So they're only a year old. So you got about $3,500 to $4,000 worth of tires. Uh, windshields are free from any cracks or star cracks or any damage, as you can see. A generator slides out. So you kind of open this up here and you push the release to slide the generator out. Uh, as you can hear, generator is running. Some of those YouTube viewers, they say, why do you have a generator running? Well, it's a hot, humid. We've got air conditioner running inside. So, runs good. Uh, front, front part of the coach, no 3M film. Maybe some uh, scratches, maybe uh, fog lights are missing, as you can see. Uh, just a couple of stuff, maybe a little bit of a road uh, of rubbish or rock road chips, you know. Nothing major. Uh, nice windshield wipers. All right, we got a little bit of a body damage right there. All right, we have a bunch of this uh, levelers, Lynx levelers, or if you call them, I call them little uh, cubes or Legos. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what they are. Uh, you have a four leveling jacks. This HWH leveling jacks works fine, but the front two, you can only get them out a little bit because they have a hard time coming back in. So imagine if they come out 18 inches, you only want to pull it out about a 10 or 12 inches. So put those links levelers so when you retract them, the front two, if you, if you extend them too, too much, they, they have a hard time coming back in. So you put those under it and you don't, you don't have to extend them so much and they'll come back. Uh, driver side rear, it goes all the way in, but about an inch, you gotta help it to get it back in. Uh, that comes with it, free of charge. Or you can lubricate it, put WD-40 and work at it. A lot of times, it can, it can fix. If not, you gotta change it. We got a window awning on a living room, as you saw on the other side, but I'll show you again as you walk through it. Uh, another awning back there. Let's look at some compartment doors. Well, that is uh, access to your, let's see, we we'll turn the light on here. All the way bright. Okay, there we go. We got the lights on now. Uh, that's your LP tank. Some storage compartments here. And they, as you can see, they come out with a uh, slide out. It is a North Carolina motorhome. No significant issues on any uh, rust. A little bit of tattering going on on this uh, vinyl decals. Overall in good shape. I mean, if you wanted to buff this coach out, it'll probably shine at you, you know, if you'd like to do that. All right, let's look at some of the compartments here. That is a pass-through storage, as you can see. We'll, we'll open up on the other side. I'll leave this open. A little bit of dings here and touched up. A uh, little light lens cover is missing. Uh, we can get that at probably like two bucks or three dollars. That's your wash bay. That's where you hook up your sewer or all that hookup. So Kelly tires, all matching Kelly tires, about a year old or so. 50 amp power cord, automatic transfer switch. Side mount radiator. And uh, that's a great thing. This is a Spartan chassis bus. So it's got uh, it's got a little crack here on back of the bumper or bumper cover. You know, it's uh, trying to point out any little stuff that I can. This is the day Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 118.24 is written on the back. You can take it off or leave it there. I kind of like it. Over here, so we are access to the engine. It's an ISC 8.3 liter Cummins with 350 horsepower diesel. While we're at the engine, let's talk about it. We've had an exhaust manifold taken care of. It was about $2,500 worth of repair. Oil change was separately done, about $800. So we've spent uh, 
close to 3,500 or a little, somewhere around there on just engine maintenance. That included all filters change and uh, chassis being looped. So a good solid coach uh, mechanically. All right, we're up here on the roof now. This has a one piece fiberglass roof. Um, it's in great shape. Um, as you see right now, all the seals, look at the rear main seal back there, fresh, relatively fresh, still squishy, hasn't hardened up, and is definitely far from cracking. Rear slide out topper is in good shape. Awning is in good shape. Now it's a cloth awning, opposed to a. Because the air condition is on bottom. So you have no roof air conditioner. Speaking of a roof air, uh, a basement air conditioning, the cover has some ripple here and it's a little bit uneven, okay? Uh, that is totally free of charge. It's a little bruise that goes with it. It's got a character of it. So that door is kind of uneven right here. We had it actually painted and my body shop guy told me that's the best thing you could do unless you buy one from uh, Winnebago or Junkyard and put another door. Uh, batteries right here. There are uh, two cranking batteries and three commercial uh, batteries for coach. We got an inverter up here and a fresh water tank. Kelly, uh, this is a Kelly Arms, Arms to Armor Steel tires. So we got two big slides. This is a big slide on a bedroom, and you saw one on the other side. We got an acrylic material awning. A patio awning. We got two awnings up here on the living room. Let's open up some of these. 10 gallon hot water heater. Easy access to your water pump if you want to winterize it yourself. Winnebago makes that really good. This is the light we need. I have I don't have one like this in stock. May have to call Winnebago. It may be 10 bucks. But that light on the other side is missing. We're gonna let you have some fun. So this is the uh, uh, pass through storage. We'll probably have a detail on vacuum that out before you pick it up. Deep storage. We've got a slide out tray here. Let's see. I think that was a hardwood, vinyl hardwood floor in a back bedroom, but we put another kind of uh, hardwood in the in front part of the coach. You'll see that as we go on ultimate. The bottom part of the coach looks really nice. Uh, all the blue part looks really shiny and nice. This side decals are not as bad tethered up as the other side. It's always in that case. One side may have more exposure of sun. A little scratch here and there uh, that I see. Well, that could be washed out. Over here is your outside entertainment. It's got old, old, old type boob tube. So this entertainment center here has a radio. Um, I think the uh, arm is missing. It's, it needs to be screwed back on. It, it seems like it used to have electric awning, but now it's a manual awning. Or you could put a motor back in there or something. I don't know. Because I see the wire is still there. You could probably put a, it probably just need a motor because it is, uh, but I, I'm not getting to it. I don't know. We're going to sell it as is, but it's a manual awning right now, but it looks like once upon a time it did have an automatic awning. So we're back where we started. All right, let's step in this coach. You're going to love it. It's, it's uh, got a hardwood floor, as you see in a, from the beginning right here. It used to be carpet. We took the carpet off and put a hardwood floors. Hmm, some kind of stain there. All right, so we've got a hardwood floors and ceramic tiles and um, that vinyl hardwood floors back there, waterproof hardwood. All right, let's uh, jump in here on the driver's side. Let's see. Fires right up. We've got 66,845 miles, 0.4. Uh, we installed new backup monitor is color backup monitor uh, air conditioning seems to be cool got a updated radio here I don't know how that works oh there you go if I can't find any channel I don't know we don't usually get an audio video and uh, 
There's a Vizio. Okay, we've got six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, some of these glue uh, that Winnebago use, it, it's coming off. Look at this. I mean, I'm nitpicking it, but the good thing is solid walls, okay? Solid walls, no water leaks. Um, so Spartan chassis, you got a telescopic and a tilt wheel, smart steering wheel. So you got... Okay, air horn is not on. Let's see. Da -da 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 air horn. That was a city horn. Let's see. Where's my air horn? Maybe my accessory air is not built up because I just cranked it up. He's got a beautiful air horn. Uh, this is where HWH. That's a Vizio TV, as you see. Yep. Uh, updated TV. Over here, we got a HWH leveling jacks. A slide out room for the living room. Control is here. It's kind of hidden. If you don't know it, it's hard to find. Come to think the dash air may need a little charger for you on. It's not very cold. Still a lukewarm. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, power seat. Uh, we got a little bit of talk about glue at Winnebago. They had a bad supply on the glue. You see that right here? It's a little loose here. Um, Dash seems to be okay. That's your Vizio remote control. Windshields are free from any cracks. There's a some kind of subwoofer speaker that goes with the Vizio. It's got a old school TV. I mean, a, wow, it's still got some Conway Tweety. Okay, it's still got some country superstar. Okay, CDs goes with it. You can have them. So he's got a CD changer. Surround sound. Let's see if that light comes on. May need a bulb there. So pretty large passenger seat, and it should have. No, it doesn't. I thought it probably got a recliner. Not that I see. It does have a, a step cover. It comes in and out. Not sure, it may not work. I don't know if it... Take a look at all our pictures. Over here, we have a little recliner. The arm brake's a little wore out. I guess that's what is used most, putting your arm there. You put little arm covers that cover it up. Both of these, those chairs will swivel. Over here, you got a, something comes from the bottom. And then this thing folds out. And then you have an electric sofa that opens up. So you can actually, if you could imagine, I'm gonna move this thing out. That thing would come out here and it'll become big bed. And we got one, two, three seat belts here. And two up there, so five seat belts. Some of the bulbs are not working. You may have to change them. Most of them are working. All right, over here we got a ceramic tiling. Let me see if I find any cracks. I may find some. Maybe hair crack here, a couple of them, okay? But overall, in good shape. We got two additional chairs back there, and it's got extension here. You can put a leaf extension. It's located right there, so you can make this bit, uh, dining table larger and add two more chairs. A little computer, keyboard, desk. That came from factory. Oh, got lots of books and records over here. Cummins, HWH leveling. Some more paperwork here. Wow, there's a whole bunch of paperwork. Chassis, uh, owner's manuals. I mean, it just got a whole bunch of paperwork. And I think you got more here. Check this out. So we got uh, lots of paperwork. And uh, owner's manual, Spartan chassis. Uh, that's a good thing to have with a motorhome. Take a look at the ceiling. No stains or any a smoke odor in this motorhome or any kind of a mildew odor. It's a good clean motorhome. I can't guarantee if they had a dog or not because most of these motorhomes people have animals, you know, dogs and stuff. But uh, okay, we got a little slide out trash can. How about that? A little slide pantry and a little counter space to cut up vegetables or whatever. Three burner gas stove, convection space maker oven, 
lots of drawers. It's got plenty of stores in here. Dual ceramic sinks. And this is a Korean countertop. I like this little spice thing right here. You can put up spice or, I don't know, you can put a coffee maker. He's got a plug there. A couple of lights on the bottom. Wine glass, I guess uh, whatever you want to put in here, but looks like a wine glass or any kind of glass that you want to put up there. We've got a double door refrigerator with an ice maker. It works on electric or gas. We've got another sliding pantry. You put lots of canned goods here. And these are adjustable shelves, so you could put cereal box or whatever. Um, I don't know if there are any uh, attachment, but there is. Um, oh, they are right here. All right, let's, let's see. Okay, it's locked. So there are attachments are right here for central vacuum system right here. Some more drawers. Hey, there's some extra bulbs here. How about that? Help yourself. We're reducing inventory. This is one of our old coach, and it's going to be gone. We're going to put aggressive price, and it'll be sold. So right here, you got the air conditioning and a fantastic fan module or a controller, thermostat. Got a pocket door that separates living room to a bathroom. Come on in here, and we got a we got an engine heat. Water heater on electric, water pump, 982 hours on generator, water heater on LP. That, that works. We've already checked all this stuff. Your monitor panel, house batteries, engine batteries, all that stuff is shown. So ceramic tiling continues in the bathroom area. Madison cabinets here. Nice little bath bathtub. And you notice the ceiling has no water stain. And that that's kind of shows you privy the roof is in really good shape. I may find one of my old videos and show you the roof. Alright, we have a toilet, a nice, you know, good sized water closet. Got a cabinet here, fantastic fan up on top. I think they've got some stickers and stuff. Pe previous owner loved some pictures, so I've seen some on the wall. They have some stickers and stuff. I guess you can put them back something there. Because what happened when you try to take the stickers off, it takes the wallpaper off. So this is the vinyl tile that you saw one piece on the bottom. Um, ODE 2002 has a 10,000 pound towing capacity on the back. Um, let's see how much water. It's got 109 gallons of fresh water tank. How about that? 29, 39 gallons of LP. We'll take a picture of this and put on our listing. I like the whole slide. It's not just a bedroom. You got this closet on the left right here, and on the right is a nightstand. So it's a pretty big slide that goes out. So it kind of gives you room. It's not just you come here and then you get in the bed. So I kind of like that. Uh, under the bed is not much of uh, storage. It's a slide out mechanism. Uh, got a little vanity mirror or vanity uh, counter. Uh, old time VCR. I think they took the old TV out. You can go buy one at Walmart for next to nothing nowadays. Okay, over here, well, let, let me show you some stuff. No water stain. I like that. Uh, over here, you could remove all these drawers and could potentially put a washer dryer. It does not have one. You may have to plumb it and bring it in and you may spend a couple of thousand dollars but you could put a washer dryer here if you'd like to that's where usually washer dryers are located at these are a couple of extra chairs that goes in a dining room i guess they call cedar lane a cedar line closet again take a look at it no water leaks um, in good shape structurally this is a great motorhome it's got some flaws of jacks that kind of you got to get them up and put a wd-40 get them up you got some scratches and stuff uh, but overall, a, a good diesel pusher 
a bus with a side mount radiator, 350 Cummins. And the good thing is we have serviced it. Exhaust manifold, oil change, lube, everything is done. Um, let's see, uh, I think my son has done test drive video. I'll try to find that video and patch it in here. Uh, we do take trades. We do help you to finance, even though you're 2002. If you have a 700 and above beacon score, we can help you easily. The higher the score, the better it is. Um, or if you're a member of any credit unions, uh, they are pretty easy to uh, deal with to get financing. So we do take trade, help you to get financing. We have a lien-free, clear title in our hand. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll love to do business with you. The way you communicate with us is tax communication. Um, my phone number is 864-404-0054. That number again is 864-404-0054. Or you can also call my daughter at 864-569-5636. 864-569-5636, that's her backup number. Text us. If you don't know how to text, call us, leave us a voicemail, we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching the video on this 2002 Winnebago Ultimate Advantage Model 40E, and we'll look forward to earning your business. Have a great day.